hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is sheila in today's video we're going to be learning how to make this very simple halter top it's very almost basic but um very easy to work up and uh, it's beginner friendly so anyone who is a beginner to crochet can pull off this uh, for this top i used macerized cotton it was from this brand circulo and it's 254 meters you can see i had some left so um this is what i used for this tutorial i've been trying to make the same exact top using different brands of yarn this is acrylic yarn which is robin and i used a single strand and i found it a bit um very light or um it doesn't work up very fast and when you stretch it the stitches are going to open up so much so i abandoned this project in this yarn and i've been looking for an alternative from this because i found this a bit heavy and i prefer my crochet projects a bit lighter so i went in for this yarn which is alice cotton gold and uh, this is 330 meters so that means we are going to be using less than a ball of yarn and then it also recommends a two to four millimeter crochet hook so if you have a two if you have a three if you have a 2.5 3.75 to four millimeter any can work if you have this particular yarn and then um you also need a pair of scissors a darning needle to weave in your ends and the hook that I'm going to be using is a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook, which is an E hook. So let's get started. So you're going to grab your 3.5 millimeter or whatever hook that you've decided to use. And we're going to start off with a slip knot. I like to do mine like this. I cross it over, place my hook in that loop and hold here yarn over pull through and then yarn over pull through the second time and that's how I make my slip knot and then I pull the tail behind so regardless of the size that you're making we are going to start off with a chain of 26 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Sorry, um, I meant 25 chains, not 26. So right now I have my 25 chains and I'm going to go into the second chain from the hook. So not this one, but this one, that second one. And I'm going to go in there with a single crochet. So when you have your single crochet here, we're going to chain up two more, one, two, and this will count as our very first double crochet. Skip the next chain, which is this one. Go into the next with a V-stitch. And for this tutorial, a V-stitch is one double crochet, chain one, and then you go into that very uh, chain with one double crochet. So that's our v-stitch so we have a double crochet here and a v-stitch after skipping one chain in between so we're going to prepare for another double crochet or another v-stitch because we are going to um this row is just made of v-stitches so you're going to yarn over skip the next chain which is this one and then go into the next with one v-stitch so one double crochet chain one and another double crochet in that same chain so we're going to be repeating this all the way across so prepare for another v-stitch skip the next chain and go into the next with one v-stitch so 
and continue to do this all the way across. So don't forget to always uh, skip a chain in between each V-stitch. So there's always a chain down here in between the V-stitches. So I've gone all the way across placing these stitches and now I have a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and 11 V stitches. I have one more chain left. I'm going to directly go into it with one double crochet. So that marks the end of row 1. We have 11 um, V stitches and one double crochet at the beginning and at the end of our, our work. So that's the end of row one. So we're going to row two and for row two, you're going to chain up three and that counts as one double crochet. And then you're going to place two more double crochets in that very first stitch. In that very first double crochet from the previous row we place two more in order to have a total of three double crochets and then you're going to chain up one and go into the next V stitch which is this one this is our very first V stitch go into it with a V stitch so one one double crochet chain one and one double crochet Then you're going to um, chain one, go into the next V stitch with a V stitch, one double crochet, chain one, and one double crochet. And continue to do that until all the V stitches are done. So chain one, go into the next with a V stitch, chain one, go into the next V stitch with a V stitch. So this is the effect that it's creating. Then chain one, go into the next V stitch with a V stitch. Chain one and continue this until your V stitches are finished. So um, in my very last V stitch and I'm placing a V stitch there. Remember I told you a V stitch is one double crochet chain one, one double crochet. So when you come to the end here, we have a double crochet, which is the chain three here. I told you the chain three counts as a double crochet at the beginning of every row. So you're going to um, chain one and go on top of that chain three and you're going to place three double crochets one two and three 
all on top of that double crochet. So we're trying to balance what's happening here with what's happening here. Remember we started with a chain three which counted as a stitch and then two more double crochets which was a total of three double crochets. So yeah, that's basically it. We're going to row three now. We're going to chain up three, turn your work. We're going to go into the very first stitch with one double crochet. That means we are increasing at the edge of our work. So one double crochet here in the very first stitch. That means the very first double crochet from the previous row gets two double crochets because this the chain three counts as a stitch. Then you're going to place one double crochet into the next stitch and one double crochet into the next double crochet. So we have a total of four double crochets. Remember the previous row had three and now the next row has four double crochets. And now you're going to chain up one and then go into the V stitches, placing one V stitch in each and every V stitch all the way across. And don't forget to always chain one after each V stitch. So continue to do this. So I'm not going to skip out anything because I told you this was beginner friendly and I want to show you all the steps of how to achieve the same exact top. So I'll be making the entire top on camera. So we are almost coming to the end of our row. Chain one, V stitch in the next V stitch. And this is our very last V stitch of this row. And now we are going to chain one and go into that very first double crochet here and place a double crochet, double crochet into the next. And into the very last one, we are going to place two double crochets. On top of the chain three from the previous row. So what that is going to do is going to, um, it's going to start widening your halter top. It's going to create more coverage. And you can notice that the lacy bit of this top is in the middle. And as we continue working, you will notice that the coverage part is on the sides. So these are the solid parts of the top and then they'll keep closing in while we are widening the coverage at the same time. So let's go to row four. We're going to chain up three, which counts as a double crochet. Turn your work and place one double crochet in the very first double crochet. So from this point onwards, each row starts with an increase on the edges and ends with an increase on the opposite edge. So two double crochets in the very first, because this is one and then this is the second. And then one double crochet into the next stitch, one double crochet into the next stitch, and one double crochet into the next. So right now we have five double crochets. Remember the previous row had four and the row before that had three. So three, four, five. So you can notice the increase as we go on. So five double crochets here, chain one, and then V stitch in each V stitch, not forgetting to chain one in between each V stitch. So our V stitch is one double crochet, chain one, one double crochet, not that. And at this point, you should be knowing how to make the V stitches. I'm going to try to um, rush through the tutorial because it may end up being so long. 
if I'm working at a very slow pace. So this is our very last V-stitch and I've placed it there and now I'm going to chain up one, double crochet into the next double crochet, double crochet into the next, double crochet into the next and into the very last one you're going to place two double crochets. Remember I told you at the end of every row we make an increase, don't forget that. So that means we have five stitches here. What is here is exactly what's happening at the beginning of the row. So you just mirror the same exact thing that's happening on this side onto this side. So let's go to row five. You're going to chain up three and repeat the same exact process. Place one more double crochet in the very first stitch to make two and then one double crochet in um, the next four double crochets so we shall have a total of six chain one and then jump into the V stitches V stitch into the first V stitch chain one and then continue to do that until the very last V stitch Okay, so um, we are done with our very last V stitch and now we are going to chain one and go into the next double crochet which is this one with one double crochet, one double crochet into the next, one double crochet into the next, one double crochet into the next. So we have a total of four double crochets before the very last stitch. So we have one, two, three, four, and then into the very last one, you're going to place a total of two double crochets. That's basically the same exact thing that we did for the previous row. So two double crochets in the very last one to make a total of six double crochets here. And we have the same exact thing here. So row seven is going to be a bit different. Sorry, row six, because now we are on row five, row, row five. So row six is going to be a bit different. So I told you from now on, from uh, row, from row two, from row three, we increase from the beginning, at the beginning and at the end. So that's not going to change. We always increase at the beginning and at the end of every row. And by increasing, I mean placing two double crochets in the very first stitch and the very last stitch of each and every row. But um, row six is going to change because we are going to start creating coverage onto the inside of the lacy bit. So you're going to chain up three, turn your work, place one more double crochet into the very first stitch uh, one double crochet in all these next stitches and when it comes to the very last stitch towards the lacy bead we are going to place two double crochets
and then you're going to chain up one and go into the very first V stitch with a double crochet and then chain one and jump into the next V stitch with a V stitch. So I hope you got that correctly. Let me finish this V stitch and I show you how that looks like. So we are trying to create more coverage towards the inner part of the halter top. And then you're going to continue to do the V stitches as usual. until the very last, um, the second last vestige, sorry, because the last one is going to get something different. So vestige until the second last vestige. So chain one vestige here. So we are on our second last V-stitch. You can see this. So we have one last V-stitch here and we're going to chain up one and we're going to just mirror the same exact thing that we did here onto this side. So chain one and one double crochet in that V-stitch just like we did here on this part. And then you're going to chain up one and make an increase in the very first stitch of the double crochets on the edge. So two double crochets in the very first stitch and then one double crochet in the middle ones and in the very last one you're going to place two double crochets one and two. So this is what we have for now. You can notice the coverage is no longer like this. It's more like it's coming inwards. So we're going to row seven. And for row seven, we chain up three, turn our work, place one more double crochet into the very first stitch. And then one double crochet into the next stitches until the last one so when you come to the last one here we are going to be making two double crochets two double crochets in this very last one towards the last pattern then you're going to chain up one and then we are going to skip over the double crochet here and jump into the next V stitch. Ignore this and jump into the next V stitch and place a V stitch there. One double crochet, chain one, one double crochet. And then you're going to chain one and continue to make V stitches until um, you get to the last V stitch of the previous row. Chain one, V stitch, chain one, V stitch, chain one, V stitch, chain one, V stitch, chain one, V stitch. So I've placed my last V stitch in the very last one, the last V stitch of the previous row. And you can see this is not a V stitch. This was an independent double crochet. And you're going to chain up one and jump into the double crochets on the edge and place two in the very first one. 
two double crochets in the very first double crochet then uh, one in each of the next until the very uh, second last stitch so this is my second last stitch my last one is the chain three so i'm going to go on top of that and place two double crochets so i want to point out a few things from this point onwards we're going to be increasing on the inside of the coverage and we are also going to be increasing on the outside this will create more coverage for our top so that we can wear it comfortably well and then as we go along you'll notice that the lacy pattern keeps reducing towards the base of our halter top because this is the neck portion then we are flowing downwards to the rib cage so um let's go to row eight you're going to chain up three turn turn your work plus one more double crochet in the very first stitch and then continue to plus one in each of the middle ones until the second last stitch okay now we have one more stitch left here and we are going to place two double crochets because i told you from this point onwards we are increasing on both sides of the coverage so this is the coverage so we've increased here and we also increase at this point so after this increase we are not going to chain one we are going to jump straight into the v stitch and place a v stitch into the very first um v stitch then chain one and continue to do your v stitches all the way across to the very last v stitch So we've placed our last V-stitch in the very last V-stitch here and now we're not going to be chaining one, we're going to jump into this very first double crochet and we're going to be placing two double crochets there, then one in each of the middle stitches and then two double crochets in the very last stitch. So I hope now you're familiar with this. one double crochet in each of the middle stitches and into the very last stitch we are going to be placing two double crochets so you can see the coverage moving inwards and that's what we want this is perfectly fine and we are now going to row nine and we're going to chain up three turn our work increase at the beginning that means we place one more double crochet into the very first stitch then one in all the middle ones until the second last stitch of the coverage And now we have this one stitch left and we are going to be placing two double crochets in there and we are going to chain up one and go into the very first V stitch and place a double crochet there then chain one 
go into the next V stitch and place a V stitch and continue to V stitch until the second last V stitch of the previous row. So I've come to the second last V stitch. You can see I have one more left here. I'm going to chain up one and place one double crochet in that V stitch. And then I'm going to chain one and jump into the coverage, increasing on both ends. So two double crochets in the very first stitch and then one in all the middle ones. And then two double crochets in the very last stitch. Okay, so my two double crochets I'm placing in the very last stitch. And now I have this. We're going to row 10. And for row 10, we are going to chain up three, turn our work, and place one double crochet into the very first double crochet. And then continue to do one double crochet in all the middle ones until the last uh, the second last stitch of the coverage. Okay, so we are on the second last stitch. So the last one will get two double crochets and then we're going to chain up one and skip over this and go into the next V stitch which is this so we are placing our next V stitch in this V stitch chain one and continue with your v-stitches until the very last v-stitch of the previous row. Always don't forget to chain one in between the v-stitches so that we keep the flow of the lacy pattern in the middle of our top. So this is my very last V stitch of this uh, row. And you can see this was a single, uh, a double crochet on its own. So I'll chain up one and skip over all this. And I'll go into the very first stitch here with two double crochets. And then one double crochet in each of the next ones. until the second last stitch so my second last stitch will have one double crochet and then the very last one will get two double crochets this is one and two so this is how your work should look like at this point. 
you can see the coverage is getting inside but also widening on the outside part of the top so we are on row 11 chain up three increase at the beginning so one double crochet into the very first one and then one double crochet in all the rest until the very last one of the coverage actually the second last one because the last one has to get an increase because we are still creating coverage for our bust so go into this one with two double crochets so uh, after this you're going to jump into the vi the very first v stitch with a v stitch chain one and continue to do the v stitches all the way across And then after this we are not going to chain one we are just going to jump into the next double crochet and place two here so one and two and then all the remaining ones get one double crochet until the second last stitch and then into the last one we place two double crochets so this is row 11 I'm going to be explaining some more about the flow of this pattern so that I can get off camera because the video is getting so long already. So two double crochets in the very last stitch and this is what we have. So I want you to look at how this row looks like. This is row 11. And I also want you to look at row 8. Row 11 and row 8 look exactly the same. So that means row 10 looks exactly like row 7. And row 9 looks exactly like row 6. So 6... On row six, that's when we uh, introduce one um, double crochet on its own. You can see the same thing happening at this point, and that means it's going to uh, come back at this point. So let's see, row six and nine look the same. So row six. 9, 12, um, 15 will all look like row 6, all of them. Then row 7, row 10, so it's a repeat of 3 rows. So if you grasp row 6, 7, and 8, the way they look like, you're going to come back to repeating row 6, 7, and 8. A row 9, 10, and 11. I hope I'm clear on that. Okay, so long story short, we repeated uh, row 6, 7, and 8 several times. So this is row 6, 7, and 8. We kept repeating 6, 7, 8, 6, 7, 8, 6, 7, 8, and then 6. We are on this row where we have the one double crochet in the V stitch. 
So that is row 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Row 18. So row 18 should look like this in the middle. One double crochet, a V stitch, and one double crochet. So I'm going to continue with the flow of the pattern. Chain three, turn your work, increase at the edge, and then one double crochet. in each of these middle stitches until the second last stitch of the coverage so i'm on the very on the second last stitch and the last one will get two double crochets and then skip over this and go into the V stitch with a V stitch. Sorry, you're going to have to chain one in between. So after your two double crochets, you're going to chain one and jump into the, the V stitch with a V stitch like that. And then you're going to chain one and go onto the opposite side. So you're going to skip over this and go into this first double crochet and place two double crochets and continue all the way across with one double crochet and then you place two double crochets in the very last stitch of your row so you can see the flow of our pattern is very uniform doesn't look like there are mistakes anywhere uh, that's because I discovered um, a flow of pattern so if we hadn't done that then we would have made some confusing pattern within the middle section but we didn't do that so i'm going to go ahead and keep working and increase here at the end chain three increase at the beginning and come back up to this point and i'll meet you there so i'm back to the middle section and now I'm going to create a V stitch, but I'm not going to be chaining one after the two double crochets. I'm going to just jump into that. Actually, I'm not going to do a V stitch. I'm going to just place one double crochet here and then cross over to this other side and place two double crochets on this side. So this is what that will create. So uh, I'm going to go all the way across with one double crochet in each stitch and two double crochets in the very last stitch. That's all. For this row, this is row 19, I guess. Let me see. This is row 20. And uh, this is how it looks like. So let me finish it up and then I'll let you know what to do next for the next chores. So when you're done with row 20, this is what you should be having right now. And uh, we're going to row 21, and row 21 is going to be the same as row 22, 23, 24, and maybe 25. That depends on how wide you want your um, whole title to be. So uh, row 21, you'll chain up three, turn your work. We're still increasing on the edges, but we are not doing anything here. We are just going across into each and every stitch in the middle but we are still increasing we are still keeping the halter shape so chain three turn your work and you're going to place one double crochet in the very first stitch which will create an increase just like we've been doing for these other rows and then we're going to do one double crochet in each and every stitch across and when you come to the very last stitch 
we will do um, two double crochets and we're going to keep repeating this row until you have the width of your of the top that you want so we are increasing the width of our top and once you're done with that I'm going to do some more rows just like I did for this actually for this I did one two three and four rows I believe I'm going to do maybe four or five rows I'll be letting you know and then we shall jump into the edging of this top and uh, the straps and all that All right, so I went ahead to do a total of five rows, still increasing on the edges. So I did five plain rows of uh, back and forth, double crochet, and this is what I got. And now the next thing that I'm going to do is to do the edging, the straps, then edging on the opposite side. So this is where I am right now. I've just placed my last double crochet there so the next thing that I'm going to do is chain one and then I'm going to go into each and every double crochet space or each and every row with two single crochets so two single crochets into each and every row and go all the way up So I'm placing my stitches in each and every row. So continue to do that until you get to this upper corner here. And I'll meet you at that point. So I've gone all the way up, placing two single crochets into each and every row. And now um, the next thing that I'm going to do, uh, actually I place two here, but I'm going to place one last one, which makes it a total of three in the very last row. So now we are at the top of our uh, halter top. I'm going to chain up one and go into that very first space with a single crochet. And then, sorry, before that single crochet, I'm going to chain up three because now we are making the straps chain three go into that same space with one double crochet and then chain three go in between these two stitches with a double crochet for those who have watched my previous videos you know how to make these straps uh, they are a bit stronger than the normal chain and they feel more comfortable to wear so chain three go in between prepare for double crochet and go in between these two stitches so there are two stitches here the chain three and the double crochet so you go into that space with the double crochet and continue to do this until you have the length of the strap that you want so i'm going to do a total of 25 segments and by segments i mean um these sections here one two three four five I'm going to go ahead and do a total of 25 of them for my upper um, strap and then I'll come back and show you what to do next all right so I have my 25 segments here and now the next thing to do is to go back on that same strand making it a bit thicker so you're going to chain up three and go into that very first space with a single crochet chain three go into the next space with a single crochet and continue to do that all the way down chain three and go into the next space with a single crochet so this will make our strap a bit stronger and more sturdy and you don't have to worry about it snapping because it's 
already attached to the original yarn that you used to make the top we didn't like attach any yarn to the strap so continue to do this until the end of your strap and I'll meet you at this point All right, so I've placed my last single crochet in the last space here and I'm going to chain up three and I'm going to go into that very space here and I place my single crochet. So this is how our strap looks like. And now we are going to go in between the V-stitch, that point, that V-stitch space and place a single crochet place a single crochet in the next space single crochet in the v-stitch space and continue to do that all the way across the top of your halter top so we are going into the chain one spaces and the v-stitch spaces with one single crochet okay and then we're going to go into the very last space which is this one and place a single crochet and then do the second strap because the straps are, are, are um, up here so we're going to do the next strap up here because our top is supposed to be like this. So this is the first strap and we are creating another strap at this point. So chain three, double crochet in the same space. Chain three, double crochet in between the stitches below. So we are basically doing the same exact thing as we did for the previous strap. So if you don't remember, just rewind the video and do the same exact thing that you did for uh, this strap for this one. Okay, so I've done my second strap and I'm at the base. I've placed my last single crochet in this same space and I'm going to place two more single crochets because remember when we were working this side we placed three single crochets and then we started the strap so right now we have three single crochets in this space and we are going to continue to place two single crochets into each and every row just like we did on the opposite side and we are going to continue to do this all the way down our halter top So continue to work your um, single crochets, two in each row, all the way down. So this just creates a more tidy edging this top actually works up neatly on the edges but i just decided to put the single crochet edging just because i wanted to incorporate the straps in it but even when you don't have an edging it looks perfectly fine but i usually don't go with uh, crochet garments without edgings i always find a way to uh, at least make an edging either with a single crochet or a half double or pico stitch or slip stitch I always find a way out I never leave my project spare okay now we are at the base and I've placed three single crochets in that very last one and now we are going to start creating uh, those scallops at the edge of our um, halter top so as you can see this one this is what it created and I want to do the same exact thing 
so uh, you're going to chain three and go into this very first space with three double crochets then you're going to skip two uh three three stitches this one is one two and three and into the fourth you're going to place a single crochet and from this point onwards you'll just chain three double crochet in that same exact stitch where the single crochet was placed double crochet three times and then skip two stitches and into the third place a single crochet and continue to do this all the way across so chain three double crochet three times in that same exact stitch where you placed your single crochet skip two stitches and into the third place a single crochet so continue to do this all the way across and i'll meet you at this point Okay, so I've just placed my last scallop here and this is what the base looks like. Now we're going to be creating the straps that are going to go to the back side. The ones that are going to tie here like this. So uh, this is more of like a summer top, so I don't expect so much coverage at the back. But we are basically done with the front part and for the straps, we are going to do the same exact straps as the upper ones. So we're going to chain three, go into that same space with a double crochet, chain three, go in the space below with a double crochet. And we are going to work up, I guess, about 30. That depends on how long you want your straps to be. So I think I prefer mine uh, a bit long. So I'm going to do 30 because I know this is going to wrap around my rib cage up to around this point. So if I do 30, they'll be still hanging and they can be uh, cute at the back. So I'm going to do a total of 30 segments. Remember the top had, that upper straps had 25 so the lower straps i'm going to do 30 but you can go up to 50 whatever you want to do and uh make your straps the way you want so remember when you get the length that you want you're going to chain up three come back along the same space and when you get to here you will place a single crochet then chain three and slip stitch into that same space and then you'll chain up one and cut your yarn so that will be the end of the strap so let me go ahead and do my straps at my own pace because at this moment i'm really tired of this design i've done four of them in one day and it's crazy Okay, so I've come to the base of my strap. This is what I was talking about. You're going to chain up three and go into that very space with a slip stitch and then you'll chain up one and cut your yarn. So I try to minimize the loose ends as much as I can unless if it's unavoidable like here we have to cut the yarn and then move to the opposite side so this is how my strap has come out it may not be long enough but this is quite fine if you want it longer you can do 50 segments as i had told you earlier on so um the next thing to do is to do the strap on the opposite side so i'm going to make a slip knot and attach my yarn where I want the strap to go. So 
so I'll go here and attach my yarn then I'll chain up three and double crochet below and then I'll have this two chain three double crochet below and I'm going to do the same exact number of uh, segments that I did for this one onto this side and then I'll show you how my last bit of the top will look like okay so right now I'm done with all my straps and the next thing that you're going to do is to weave in all your ends that which I've already done and this is the final product of my work so I'll be tying my straps like this at the back of my rib cage. It's uh, a bit a uh, bit basic for the halter tops if you've made some before. And these two straps will go to the top part of your neck, behind your neck, will be tied up behind your neck. And yeah, this marks the end of this tutorial. I hope you guys liked it. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you did and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.